Vikings fans, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you may be watching across the world, man. I hope you feel good after that victory yesterday because I do. But today we do have some important news, man. Stefan Gilmore is supposedly going to meet up with the Minnesota Vikings, and this is actually good, especially watching the first half of that game when you had guys out there that are going to be starting week one, that are going to be out there and be part of this defense, this core defense. And Letting Aiden O'Connell dart us up is just unacceptable, all right? And then Gardner Minshew came out there and kind of did the same thing. Now, at the end, once they put in their third-string quarterback, we started to get some stops, and I liked what I saw, Bo Ricker, all that good stuff. But Stephon Gilmore will definitely bring value. I do believe he'll bring value. Now, he's up there in age. He's definitely a veteran's veteran, okay? He's been around a quite long time. So we got to see if his speed can catch up but the good thing is he knows where to be on the field he's played enough ball to where he understands most defensive schemes I think he'll be able to come in right away Brian Flores will tell him what type of defense we run he'll be able to jump right in and make an impact you know at the end of the day he's really good at man-to-man -man defense and we need that and I think it could be similar to what we saw with a Patrick Peterson when he came to the Minnesota Vikings. Like, yes, he was old. A lot of the fans were looking like, ah, he, is he not fast anymore? Is not this, that, and the third. And he actually surprised us, including me, right? He surprised us. He came out there and he balled out. He balled out for the most part, held us down for two years, man. Because watching that game yesterday, bruh, I definitely am excited about what I see, especially coming from the defensive interior. Levi Drake Rodriguez, I want to see him. Bo Rickard, I mean that that right there was a was a blessing to watch him go out there and ball. You know, there's gonna they're gonna have to make some spots for those two guys on the team. Dallas Turner, obviously, JJ McCarthy, Jalen Naylor. There's a lot to be excited about, but we also did see some things that we have to add to and I think the secondary is going to be that you know Theo Jackson shout out to him man but you know it was a little underwhelming yesterday there was a lot of miscommunication in the first half with it seemed like with him and the Bynum had a couple miscommunications too Lewis scene doesn't seem like he's gonna contribute much this season again so it's one of those things where we definitely need another vet I'm excited to see Shaq come in and see what he can do but Byron Murphy also was underwhelming, man. I, I definitely need him to step up. And I think if we can get another veteran in there like Stefan Gilmer, who actually was an A-list type player at one point in his career, I think if we can get him in there, add some value to this cornerback room, I think we'll be pretty decent, man. I think we will be pretty decent. Now, I don't know who's going to lose their job behind Stefan Gilmore coming on the team because there is some young guys that supposedly have been making noise at training camp and stuff like that that had a shot of making the 53. But once we bring Stefan Gilmore in today, um, somebody's going to be on the chopping block. But that's just the name of the game. That's part of the business. And Stefan Gilmore really doesn't have to prove to anybody that he can play the game. It's just about is he still fast enough? Is the speed still there? The reaction time still there? I think that's what we have to see. Real quick, man, they asked him a question. They asked him a question back in May, and he said, hey, if you watch the tape, I feel like I played well the last two years. I literally almost played every snap last year. So, I mean, he was out there doing his thing, man, playing every snap, um, you know, not getting injured and stuff like that due to his age. So at the end of the day, I think this is going to be a great pickup, man. And once he walks in that building today, once he walks in that building today, he's not leaving. He's going to want to be a Minnesota Viking. Bet it. So we might see the news here today, hopefully right after this video, man, after y'all are watching this, hopefully we get the news. Hopefully he's there right now talking to Quasi and Brian Flores as I'm shooting this and editing this. But again, I can't wait to see this come to fruition today, man. Hopefully Stefan Gilmore is a Minnesota Viking soon, man. Let me know how y'all feel about Stefan Gilmore. Do you think he'll bring value to the squad? I do. Hey, let's get it rocking, man. We got our future quarterback too. P.S. announcement, dog. <laughs> Holla at your boy. Smooth summer, who running? I hear them talking, but they ain't gon' do nothing. Celebration, I might have a toast with you. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling great, I'm terrific. We ain't taking no losses, we winning. Undefeated, check the percentage. 